Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your March 2022 monthly reading for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you are new to me, welcome. I appreciate you guys being here so, so much. Please be sure to subscribe and double tap that bell to get notified of all the new readings. I've got a lot more coming up. I will be going back to my regular weekly reading um, schedule, so make sure you check that out. I will be opening up my calendar as well, and all the updates will be posted in the description box below as I get them, but I will also make an announcement either in short stories or in my community tab. So make sure you are subscribed with notifications. So let's tap into your March 2022 reading, your energy for money, love, and abundance. Okay. We're going to see what's to come for you overall. Gener gen Why can I not talk? Overall general energy for March, and then we'll move on to your finances and career. And then your love life, of course, for singles and couples. And I will clarify along as I am guided to. Remember to check your moon rising and Venus signs as well to get a broader spectrum of other areas in your life and how it applies. Here we go. Taurus, sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. Hey, guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment and subscribe. And let's see what we have here. Okay. I feel like there's a little bit of competition overall here. You may be in competition with someone. Um, it's general energy, but the weird thing is, is that I'm feeling it on a friendship level. I feel like there's a group of friends and someone is like low-key hating on you, okay? I feel like you're almost to the point of, you know, I'm the most popular one. I know that sounds a little bit, you know conceited <laughs> to some, but I feel like Taurus, you may be the one that's like the go-to. You may be very popular. You may have, um, you know, friends, family members, even coworkers, especially if you are like the new person or the, the new kid in town. I feel like, you know, you, people start being really friendly with you. They're really attracted to you. They love your energy. They want to get to know you better. They want to work with you. They want to get to know you better. And it doesn't have to necessarily be romantic. It's, you know, if you're new at your place of employment, or maybe for those of you in school, it's kind of like, I want to get to know Taurus. Um, I keep hearing I like Taurus's vibe, whatever that may be. So you may be feeling really confident, really good, and you're glowing and it shows, but you got people around you that are just like, uh-uh, let's knock Taurus off their high horse. They definitely see you as competition. Okay, so perhaps someone's got a crush on you, into you, and the person that's crushing on that person is just not having it. Why Taurus and not me? I feel like you're going to walk away from the drama, especially if you're already seeing someone. If this is at work, you're just like, I don't have time for this BS, right? Nah, -uh. stick to your own BS. Don't include me in it. That's, I feel like they've just, they're stirring the pot. Okay, let's see what's into your money, career, finances. And we'll go back to your general energies for the month to see what else comes up. And look at that. Wow. And then let's pull for your love life. Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. All right. Hello, Queen of Swords. Um, okay, so yeah, definitely something is causing you some problems this month. We've got the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Ugh. It's like, oh my God, look at that. Ten of swords, ten of wands, nine of swords. Not, oh my God, seriously, I cannot make this shit up. At the bottom of the deck. My deck is absolutely like shuffled and cleared many, many times. Sorry if my, my, my video is a little shaky here. I don't know what the heck's going on. Okay, so nine, ten, literally of wands and swords. 
So you've been through some stuff. You may not be getting along with others either in your family and your you know circle of friends. And I and it's not like you're losing all your friends. I don't feel that energy. I just feel like there's somebody who's just like all of a sudden can't stand you, is annoyed by you, or that might be you, Taurus. I'm just I'm just saying this is a general reading. Apply it to your situation. Reverse the roles if that's how it applies to you. But I definitely feel like you're just like, I'm sick and tired of the BS, people talking shit, trying to throw things or trying to throw shade my way. I'm not having it and I'm not losing sleep over it. I feel like at some point you were, at some point you were afraid that it was going to affect your circle of friends, your family, even uh, I'm hearing if this is at work, even the possibility of you being promoted, or it's like if you're the new kid at this space of employment or you're newly promoted, I feel like this puts your job on the line in jeopardy where you're just like, uh-uh, you're not going to ruin this for me. I've come a long way and I'm, you know, I deserve this promotion. And I'm going to work for this. So I just, I, I'm going to keep keep these over here. I just feel overall that there is a lot of truth that needs to be spoken. I don't feel like you will be intimidated by this whatsoever, let alone I doubt that it will affect you in a way where it will cause you too much damage. I really feel that you're going to put your foot down and you're going to say, no, listen, you don't have to like me, but we've got to work together, right? If you're in the same circle of friends and it's like, oh, we're all going to get together for so-and-so's birthday and it's like, oh, is so-and-so going to be there because you know how that goes. I just feel like, Taurus, you may bite your tongue, but if push comes to shove, you're definitely fighting back. That's the energy I'm getting. Uh, clarify this uh, ten, nine and ten of wands. What is, you know, the heavy burden? King of Pentacles. Uh, that's my Capricorn card. But since I also have the Queen of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles, it really could be uh, this is you that you're feeling the burden that you're just like, no, I've come a long way. You're not going to mess with me. Or you may be dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could also be your boss, right? This could also be, you know, uh, someone who handles the finances, someone who's, you know, handling the stability of the situation. And you're kind of feeling like you're caught in the middle. And at the same time, and I'm hearing this very clearly, Taurus, so apply it to your situation. I feel like you didn't even realize that all of this was going around you for a while. And now that you're catching wind of it, you're like, what the you know, F, how, I didn't even, it's like you were oblivious to it and you were still just being like nice and friendly. At least most of you. I do feel like there's a few of you that were just like, rawr, catty, right? Like you're just like, uh-uh, so-and-so is going to say something. If they think that I'm going to stay quiet, they got another thing coming, you know? Mm-hmm. Empress card flipped out. So maybe for some of you, it is mother, mother figure, mother-in-law, baby mama, uh, I'm also hearing like a, an older female mentor that can also be like almost shielding you and protecting you, okay? For some of you, that may be someone who has passed if your mother has passed. For others of you, this is someone that you may work with that's like, uh, again, um, in the business sector is how I'm hearing it, that you network with, that that's really has this keen eye for you, definitely. Uh, so tell me more about the nine and 10 of swords. And as I say that, Ace of Pentacles. So this could be, again, about money, you know, in, in the workplace. Uh, it could be within the financial, not the financial, your family situation in terms of finances. So if you've got like, a mother or a mother-in-law that's meddling, that's just like trying to convince you and your partner not to move in together, not to buy a house together, not to have children together, not to have any shared expenses, that type of thing, or, you know, don't help, you know, your partner out in this which way or another. I just feel like, and look at that as I said that. Yeah, someone who's very, very controlling, demanding, uh, 
again, if you're dealing with like in-laws or extended family uh, that's sticking their nose, especially when it comes to finances, this can also be because your partner is helping out their extended family or their parents financially. And it's like, how dare your partner have a life, a relationship, a family of their own? Because in reality, if they cared about your partner's happiness and well-being, you know, they wouldn't be putting your partner in that situation. But it's really about their best interest is all they freaking care about. I feel like some of you that are going through this situation, this isn't new. This has been going on for quite some time. I even feel like some of you may even want to um, finally put your foot down is what I'm hearing. Like, listen, cut it or I'm out. With the Six of Wands and the Six of Swords there, this is a lot of heated arguments. This is, I'm walking away. I can do this on my own. You know, if it, apparently your friends, your family, your parents, whatever, need, you know, baby mama needs you more than I do. And you're more worried about them than you're worried about me. And continuing this, and I'm hearing this conversation turn into like a power struggle and, you know, having to share time with the extended family if this is at work i again you have a very toxic person in the workplace could be a capricorn that sees you as competition could be a fire sign or an air sign you know causing you problems talking shit behind your back i'm just gonna say it out loud aries Leo, sagittarius aquarius a libra gemini yeah so this is like, no, I've worked too hard for this. They're not going to come in and ruin my chances of moving up, moving forward, creating a better life for myself. Um, if they're, you know, I'm, I'm finally at a place where I want to be financially uh, in my personal life or place of employment. Um, yeah, they're not coming between, you know, me and my happiness and joy and fill in the blank, Taurus, whatever that may be. So overall energy oracle for the month. That was quick. Mm hmm. What I tell you. What did I tell you, Taurus? Again, this is like cling on energy. I know that the card for the attachment, those of you that do read um, or, or have this oracle, I know that the card of attachment really speaks about uh, being quite attached to the way things are going to manifest, unfold, you know, what it is that you're trying to create for yourself and being very stuck and attached to a specific unfolding, right? A specific way that things must work out. Now, I do feel that you have full intention. Those of you that are in a partnership uh, are thinking, listen, I'm trying to create my happily ever after. You're attached to that outcome but that person may have attachments in the form of, you know, children, baby mama, uh, parents, siblings, extended family that depends on your partner financially or even emotionally. A lot of codependencies here is what I'm seeing, you know. Um, and so it, it does feel like it's a tug of war. And in this card, she is taking her mask off and saying, that's it. I'm not playing nice anymore. I deserve my happily ever after, especially seeing the nine of cups here in the love section, you know, um, it really does play out as the overall energy for this month is, the, is what you may be dealing with um, in terms of your relationship. And seeing how we're on that, I'm going to skip the money portion and go straight to love. Uh, and then we'll finish off with the financial aspect. I do feel like it's all completely like commingled because we see the six of pentacles in your money and career and finance uh, row right in the middle, which again, you know, partnerships, whether business or in love, um, standing your ground. Really, it really is the same message that I, that's repeating and it's affecting all areas of your life. Now, as I was saying, those of you that are in partnerships, that have specific ideas of what you want in terms of commitment, Queen of Swords, she is not going to mince words. She's going to be very clear cut about how she wants to move forward and what her expectations are. And at this point, 
you staying, you're going, you, we're doing this together, or you're cutting certain people out, or it's time you, you set up those safe boundaries. Because I'm not going to be shortchanged because you can't put your foot down. I'm hearing it very clearly. Somebody here is really drawing the line here. Taurus, if this is you, I mean, this is my Virgo card, but because it is a general reading, uh, I do feel that you're just like in this place of, I've got my finances in order. I've got everything going for me. I've got the promotion. I've got a great job. I've got my, you know, my home, my finances, everything that I can possibly need to create a loving, comfortable, nurturing home environment for me, for us, for our children, etc. Fill in the blank. I feel like you're set. You're in a really good place and probably in a better place than you have been in a really long time. The promotion for some of you, uh, I feel like if it wasn't a promotion, it was a bump in your finances that you really weren't expecting. Either it was like a, a bonus or an unexpected gift of money through work. Like, hey, there was this overage or I'm hearing like an incentive that you weren't an incentive program that you weren't even aware of. Um, also, I feel like for some of you, your bosses, your supervisors really like you and they go out on a limb for you and just even ask for a bump in pay without you even bringing it up. Like they just did it for you. They really want to help you out, right? So you are really feeling good in terms of your finances, your material needs. Uh, you may have just recently purchased a home or you're in the process of elevating your home. And what I mean by that is, you know, home remodeling, home furnishings, um, you know, redecorating, really, really making your house a home with all the comforts and luxuries i have to say that because i heard that loud and freaking clear it's not just a comfortable home it's got all the high-tech gadgets electronics furnishings uh decorations whatever it may be i feel like you are definitely creating a beautiful home for yourself your partner your family whatever it is and you know you're doing so because this is what you've been wanting for so long. Nine of Cups energy. This is wish fulfillment. This is I'm not stopping. And if somebody tries to come between me and my happily ever after, they've got another thing coming, right? Setting your boundaries. Some of you that have already taken that step of, you know, putting your foot down, drawing the line, and maybe you've got like a little bit of an intermittent um, separation with your partner. And you're just like, I'm in a good place. It's unfortunate that they couldn't do what they needed to do to set safe boundaries to protect our friendship, our relationship, whatever it may be, right? So some of you may be out there, single again, not sure if you should put yourself out there, not sure if you should wait around for them. I have the card that this could be the one. So you've already met the romantic partner that you seek, whether it's the one that you're recently single from or now that you're just like wiping the slate clean, I'm done, I'm creating the life I want for myself, I've been doing it on my own, I'm living a very happy life comfortable life now it's time for me to get out there and communicate and put myself out there i feel like if you have just recently met someone that feels like a really nice start a really good connection with them let me pull a card because i feel like it, it's it feels like it's the beginning of something nothing super serious like it's just kind of flirtatious it's just getting to know each other Ooh, but this has the potential of a long-term commitment partnership. For real, for real, okay? The lovers and the hierophant, absolutely. That is wanting to take things further. That is wanting to, you know, make a commitment. That is, I see a future with you. And I want to see where this goes, right? And I, I feel... <laughs> Like Taurus, for the first time in a really long time, you're getting a move on. You're moving fast enough to be like, yeah, this is the one. I'm moving forward with them. There's nothing more to think about. I already know it. I'm going to create this life of luxury. This, you know, I'm going to, you know, move towards a life of stability. Enjoy my time with this person. And I'm going to start moving it towards something serious, something long-term, something with a future. Now, for those of you that 
are in this little separation and you know that you're working things out with your partner, I feel that you know, okay, this person is the one. We're just not getting along right now. I also feel that the other person, whether it's you or them, someone here is thinking, okay, I know that in order to make this work, I've got to be serious about offering a commitment. I've got to come back with a serious offer of commitment and not just say it, but mean it and act on it. Because if you're dealing with an air sign, they are not having it. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, they're just like, be clear about it. I've been waiting. I've been wanting this. And maybe some of you have been out going drinking. Maybe some of you have been out, you know, spending your money or just being workaholics. I do feel that the person that you're longing for to get back together with to fix things together i do feel like this is someone who you really need to take into consideration and value them as a person and really do what it takes to I don't want to say do what it takes to win this person back because I don't really mean that. <laughs> I don't think that you should have to like bend over backwards, but I do feel that there should be accountability. I do feel that if it's your fault on some areas that there should be accountability for your part and their part if they're willing to meet you that, you know, half ways, but it can't be one sided. The two of you need to be able to meet each other halfway here. Now for the couples. What card do I have for the couples? <laughs> Release your ex. So again, I feel like it's the same message. If you're in this separation and you meet someone new and you're still thinking about them, it's like, okay, release them because you've got somebody with that has clear potential of moving forward. Um, Long-term commitment, which is what you wanted. Maybe it's not with the person that you had originally been with or that had intended. Um, and maybe you have a long history with them, but it's okay to be open if you are single to a new romantic partnership, the new possibility that there could be something serious with the next person that comes in. Now, some of you that are in a relationship are still dealing with an ex, a baby mama, a baby daddy, whatever. I just feel like an ex is still coming in and still, you know, causing problems. I even feel like if you have children together, they, they're they like reading you the laundry list, a long list of you owe me this, pay me back that, you know, child support and your kid needs that. And, and I also feel that your ex may be getting in the middle of your relationship and, you know, meddling in, the, in, your, in your current relationship in order for you to leave your current relationship you may be on the verge of where things are not working out because you have not set safe boundaries i'm definitely feeling that so for some of you taurus you do have new love that's coming in that can be long-term commitment and some of you really just don't even know i'm sorry calling you out you don't even know how to reinforce a boundary with an ex that's meddling and let's face it you let them meddle in this connection what makes you think they won't meddle in future connections and they've probably already meddled in prior connections so uh tell me more about the ex four of pentacles i again i do feel as though there's this thing about them constantly asking you for money. Uh, I feel like they want to deplete you for money. The more money you make, the more they take. Um, it, it leaves you feeling empty, like you'll never be able to get ahead. You can't create a life with your new partner, whatever it may be. Yeah, see, five of pentacles, four and five of pentacles. This is uh, about money. If you got a promotion, if you started a new business, I really feel like they're keeping an, a watchful eye on that. And uh, they're waiting to swoop in and take you for everything that you've got. Okay, so be careful of that. So on that note, let's move up to your middle row here. Money, career, finance, six of pentacles, the lovers, eight of wands and seven of wands. I feel, I feel here like some of you Taurus are like, wow, and my dryer went off. I don't know if you could hear that. 
So clearly, that's a clear message of what I was about to say. Just give me a minute. <coughs> Sorry, I hope you didn't hear that. I felt my throat close up. So, <clears throat> as I was saying, I do feel like I've got a few Taurus here, or it could be your partner, <clears throat> could be your cross watcher, that you just can't seem to get out of debt constantly having to owe or pay people money you borrow from one to give to the other and then money comes in and then it's gone some of you may not be very good with money because you love spending money you love having the finer things in life you love being able to always have cash and yet you almost never have cash is how i heard it I know that's not for everyone. That is for some of you. Just as quickly as it comes in, it is going out. And I feel like you're going to be up for um, a few arguments, mediations. I do. I know the, the I know that the uh, justice card is not here, but I do uh, feel the uh, mediation and court and legal issues looming okay i do feel like uh there will need in order for you to to be better financially i feel like the money is gonna come in but just as quickly as it comes in it it goes out and and it's like a tug of war with having to pay off your bills having to pay for you know everything that you've got going if you started a business it's like you're not seeing too much profit not because your business isn't making money it's just simply because it's going just as quickly as it's coming in i keep hearing it so if you if you get hired like i'm hearing like a on a contract you've got money coming in somebody gives you like you know um a deposit or whatever it may be but again you need to be able to watch your money carefully uh separate bank accounts uh if you are starting a business and you're keeping all your finances together you've got to stop that um stop spending your profits is what i'm hearing before you take care of the jobs before you complete the jobs before uh you purchase your supplies because what i'm hearing very clearly some of you money comes in you make some profit you've got to share it because you are helping way too many people more people than you can afford on top of your own personal expenses right so then when you have to buy more supply or you have to you know and in, reinvest into your business into your company you don't have the money because you've already shelled it out again i keep hearing the money is coming in and going out it's going out just as quickly as it's coming in. So, and here it is. Face your financial fears. Uh, clearly, it's time to get real about your finances, okay? Uh, whether it's a fear of success or a fear of failure, I feel like if you, if, I feel like some of you are feeling, if I'm very successful, well, so-and-so is going to ask me for more money, then I'm going to have to pay so-and-so. So it's almost like you're holding yourself back, but you're also holding yourself in a very stressful situation. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts i definitely feel like that strongly like you're afraid to succeed because i feel like you even feel you won't be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor because you'll be shelling it out Oh, wow. Look at that. It's like just as you start being successful in your business, you've got to fight to keep your profits, right? I, I just, I feel like if you've got children, if you've got outstanding debts, judgments, child support, if you're going through a divorce or separation, it's like bring your business financial documents because someone's about to take a portion of it. And that's fine. That's fine. 
Because what you're not realizing is that you're capable of making that much and then some. And you're selling yourself short. Queen of Swords again. You're definitely dealing. I have strong Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And we've got Scorpio there. It, 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 I feel like you're not giving yourself enough credit uh, to be able to move on, move forward and be successful with your life. I think that as soon as you face your financial fears, as soon as you draw the line, put your foot down, get your... Here, clearly, I'm hearing get your shit in order for those of you that are dealing with financial issues. If your partner is the one that's dealing with financial issues, I feel like you're the one that's going to be drawing the line in the sand saying that's it. Get it together. Boundaries. Let your family know. Let your ex know. Let your children know. Let whomever know. You know, do debt consolidation. I feel like somebody is going to be pushing the other person to get their life together in terms of their finances. This feels like a very strong disagreement that can cause separation, breakup, divorce. Um, and Taurus, if you're dealing with this, whether you're with your partner or not, if you do have one, I just feel like these money issues and this tug of war and the financial stuff, it's gonna continue no matter who you're with. Don't be mad at your partner if they're telling you to get it together. And vice versa, cross watcher, right? Like if Taurus is telling you, hey, you know, like we can't keep going through this, you've got to put yourself in their shoes as well. You know, I feel like things can make be a lot easier when you allow people to help you, when you allow yourself to get clear about what it is that you need, want, have, desire, what you're capable of doing as well. Because I feel like you're afraid to make more money because you're going to be losing more money as you pay out to whomever you may owe. But in reality, some debts are short term. They'll be gone the sooner you pay them. If you're helping your family out, then you've got to tell them, listen, just because I make more money doesn't mean I'm going to give you more money. Th like that's the end of that. I've got to continue investing in myself and my business. And if you have children, more than likely you'll be doing that with them too. If it's, you know, an ex that you're no longer dealing with, I just feel like there's a lot of moving parts here that you're sorting out Taurus or Crosswatcher, whomever it may be. Good luck with that. I feel like you've got a lot of sorting out to do or, you know, trying to figure things out with your partner here. Okay, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for being here. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Remember, I always put your playlist here and what other other readings I have here for you. I cannot wait to catch up with you on the weekly readings. Remember, I'm going to be opening up my calendar. I'm going to block off probably one day um, out of the week or maybe every other week. I'm going to have a few appointments. Um, and so I will post all that information as it becomes available. Have a wonderful month. I can't wait to read for you guys. Again, take care. Bye.